So my name is Jeff Blaine. Uh, it's been my privilege to be the pastor at Ascension Lutheran since November of 1993. So I've been here almost 18 years and uh, it's been fun to see Ascension grow from a church that met at a school and had to set everything up and take everything down in the beginning now to a congregation that has become established and has a nice beautiful building while the building isn't everything it, it gives us a place to gather for worship and fellowship and we kind of think of it as our mission center and the hub for which we go out and do work in the community. It's been a real treat to be part of a growing, thriving church and to have a congregation that wants to go deeper into God's Word. We're looking forward to our fall and spring programming. This year we're going to be using something called the story as we follow that main storyline through the Bible from really from Genesis all the way to Revelation and looking forward to helping adults get a chance to get their hands and teeth and mind and body into God's Word and growing and understanding what that's all about and hopefully in that way getting a better feel for what God is after in our lives and how God loves us so much and God wants us to, to share that love with other people. It's been fun to be a part of a congregation that's given well over a million dollars away since it got started. The congregation's only uh, 21 years old. It was officially organized in May of 1990. And uh, while some people can trace their roots back to a little further uh, in the early days when people were meeting in homes to see a church that has always been focused outside its walls and seeking to make a difference in the world both locally and further afield. We've had mission trips to Haiti and to Belize, uh, working on disaster relief in places like Mississippi and Texas and New Orleans, uh, local concerns with food pantry and feeding the hungry through a program here called Loaves and Fishes, trying to get people uh, to put their faith into action. If you're around Ascension for very long, you'll know there's four big words we want everybody to know. Worship, grow, care, share. They'll stretch into bigger words like worship the Lord, grow in faith, care for others, share the good news of Jesus Christ. And more lately, we've taken that statement into a broader sense of, of uh, cultivating our lives as disciples of Jesus Christ who are making connections in our faith and daily life and seeking to fulfill our calling to our local community and world. So what we try to be about here at Ascension is a congregation that's not just a, like a club, not just a place where people can show up on Sunday and kind of do their Sunday thing and then move on and go about their lives, but really to see this as a place to come and get fueled up. I think, sometimes think a church should look something like a gas station or have a feel for the old-fashioned gas station where you come and you get your tank filled, you maybe get your oil checked. If there's some repair work that's needed, that happens. Uh, but our desire is to help people grow in their relationship to Jesus Christ, to be empowered by the Holy Spirit to reach out in love and witness and service, as we say in our mission statement, and to uh, have a family of faith, whether people are single or widowed, married, divorced, um, whatever kind of configurations their families might be in. All of us, after all, are broken people who are in need of God's love and forgiveness, His mercy and grace, and receiving that, we try to share that with others and take that good news out to the world. If I were to try to describe uh, our congregation here at Ascension, I'd say that it's a place where we want people to feel connected and people to feel involved, a place where faith is more than just what you do on Sunday mornings, but that it impacts your day-to-day -day life as you seek to live out that relationship that God calls us to. Uh, we try hard in our congregation uh, to be open and welcoming to people from all different kinds of backgrounds or circumstances. Uh, our congregation has a couple of different nicknames. Uh, we sometimes call ourselves the home of the 80-minute hour. You can figure out what that means. We also sometimes describe ourselves as the church of the second chance because we have a lot of people here in this congregation that are uh, coming back to the church. They might have grown up in the church or perhaps somewhere along the line they had a bad experience or something that drove them away, but now God has been working in their lives in some different kinds of ways to get them to open back up to faith and life, and so we're privileged to have a chance to, to talk with people about that, and we really do want uh, our connection to be more than just a name on a list or to say, yeah, I belong to that church and I go there once in a while, but rather uh, to understand that we're the church. The church isn't a building 
building the church is this gathering of people uh, who are captured by what God has done in our lives and we want to share that with others.